Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. As you probably already guessed by this big box in front of me, today I'll be checking out the Fractal's brand new chassis series called Define C, this particular one being the ATX version of it. And by me saying that, you can also guess that there's a mini ITX version of it, and you would be right. The product box is pretty standard looking when it comes to Fractal's Defined series. Going around it, you can see a few pictures of the chassis itself in one whole piece or disassembled in its major parts like here, together with an overview of its features. Of course, you will also come across onto a list of your usual technical specifications and hardware installation capabilities. And I love how Fractal puts a little bit more information about it than with your usual brands. Removing the box out of the picture, you'll be greeted by this very familiar Define Series signature design, overall very clean looking and minimalistic. On the front we have this plastic cover imitating brushed aluminium without any 5 and a quarter inch drive base, which is not a surprise since Fractal aimed this model towards users who plan to do an all-in-one or custom water cooling build, or ones that just like to have this clean looking inside of the case, just like their Define S series, but with smaller dimensions. On the side of the front panel you can see see some ventilation holes for taking in the cool air. On the top front part of the chassis you will see your usual array of buttons and ports, most important ones of course being the two USB 3.0 ports alongside of the audio in and out jacks. Right behind that we have an installation spot for fans and radiator, which is as you can see covered with this plastic part by default, just like on the Define R5 and S models, but more on that later on. The left side is of course dominated by this window, but the right side panel is completely clean looking. PS, you can also get a version without a side panel window and with sound dampening material on it. Bottom side reveals a full length dust filter which is easily removable just by pulling it from the front, while down there you will also find four chromed out feet with rubber cushioning. Back side has a pretty usual layout, on the bottom half you'll get seven expansion slots, power supply cutout with a separate detachable plate for easier installation, while the top half houses an IO cutout and a spot for a 120mm fan. Taking a step back, overall I am personally very pleased with the Define C design and its build quality, but then again that's not a surprise since this is basically downsized, C in its naming actually stands for compact, and a bit modified version of their ongoing series. Removing the left side panel is very easy thanks to the thumb screws, which actually stay put on the panel even when you screw them out, while taking the panel off or putting it back for that matter is done without any hassle, manufacturing tolerances are on spot. Right upon opening you can see that we have a metal shroud on the bottom covering the full length of the chassis, which makes everything that much more tidier and this is actually the first time Fractal did something like this, following the trend which set brands like Fantex and NZXT. The left portion of it has few ventilation holes for the power supply in case you want to install it with fan facing up, while on the other end you can see a metal cover which easily pops out once you undo two screws on the front. You'll need to remove it in case you want to install a bigger 360mm radiator with fans. Since the Fine C series is much shorter than the R5 or S series, you can notice that the right part of the chassis doesn't have any spot for installing some drives or water pump like on them, so basically the only thing you have to have in mind is the maximum GPU length, which is around 330mm without any fans or radiator installed, so let's say that's about 315mm with fans installed and 170mm of height clearance for the CPU cooler. When it comes to cable management, you can see that we have in terms of Fractal the usual cutouts with rubber grommets set on typical spots, right and top side edge of the motherboard and a smaller ones on the bottom. Right above the motherboard tray you can also see the aforementioned installation spot for the radiator and fans, where you can install up to 240mm radiator, but Fractal also provides a magnetic mesh dust filter which you can easily replace with that top plastic cover like so. Lastly, You'll get two 120mm pre-installed fractal fans from their Dynamic X2 GP series, one on the back and one on the front. 
removing the right side panel, which by the way carries a thick and heavy sound dampening foam, and going to the other side of the motherboard tray, at the bottom in the 3.5 inch drive tray you'll find an accessory box with all the necessary screws and other parts. Since I'm already here you can see that we have a dedicated drive bay capable of holding two 3.5 inch drives, each in its own tray. You can actually slide that drive bay more to the right if you want to, so you can get better clearance if you plan to put that 360mm radiator on the front as I mentioned before. You can also completely remove that cage and put just one 3.5 inch drive on the bottom. The right side of that bottom compartment of course holds a spot for a power supply, which goes onto its 4 rubber padding. Moving to the upper part, on the top right you can see a dedicated metal plate which can hold up to 3 2.5 inch drives or you can just completely remove it if you don't need it at all. On the left side you can see a recessed area with front panel cables going along with it, which are by the way all covered in black, together with 3 fractals velcro straps. With that portion of the chassis coupled with a lot of tie down spots for the cables around the motherboard tray, as well as a decent gap between it and the right side panel of the chassis, I can easily say that the fine C has plenty of room for doing a proper and tidy cable management, even if you plan to use more than your usual amount of cables and hardware. Last but not the least, moving to the front, you can easily remove the front panel cover just by pulling it from the bottom like so, and you don't need to be careful about the front panel cables, since they are separated from it and housed in this top module with all the ports and switches. Now you will get a complete access to the front dust filter, which you can also remove without any problem in case you need to clean it, or in case you need to install those additional fans or radiator. So once again, as I said before, on the front you can install up to three 360mm radiator if you remove that metal shroud cover or up to 280mm with it. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and preview of the Fractals Define C chassis. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, it helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.